Hello and welcome to Park 12. We're getting pretty close. Today we're going to focus primarily on oil pans. Um, this vehicle is equipped with two of them. The first is uh, the upper, I guess, the um, aluminum upper oil pan, which molds directly to the block. And then you have the steel lower pan, which molds to the upper. The upper oil pan sealing is incredibly important to get right. The only way to remove the upper oil pan is to first remove the engine from the vehicle. Uh, so if you screw that up, then you're stuck pulling the whole engine out to try to fix that, and you don't want to do that. The lower pan is a little easier. You can lift the engine up in the car, and you can drop that oil pan out and, uh, and reseal it if you, you know, need to. Or maybe you need to do it twice. But we'll get into that later. For now, let's get the throttle body installed, and then we'll move on to those oil pans. First up is the mixing chamber. That's just their fancy name for the plastic tube that connects the throttle body to the intake manifolds. No big deal. Just slides right on. You'll use uh, some new O-rings to make sure it seals up and then uh, three bolts that uh, hold it on. So go ahead and do that. And then this little bracket goes on. And that bracket's job is to hold the glow plug connector. Speaking of which, that right there, glow plug connector, it's on backwards. I'll fix it later, but it's on backwards. Throttle body now is going to go on, just uh, bolt it up, pretty simple. This uh, tube is a little fiddly, this is what the intake pipe will actually connect to and it has to go in with this bracket so the bracket goes on the outside of that and the bolts go through the bracket then through that black plastic and then into the throttle body to hold that on and then obviously it also bolts to the head on the other side there right by the exhaust manifold you can put that bracket on and then put the mixing chamber in that also will work Before we can go ahead and close things up, one of the tasks that has to be done is the oil pump has to be primed. So to do that, I'm going to take some oil, pour it in here, and kind of rotate the, uh, the engine a little bit uh, so as to get some uh, oil inside that oil pump. The top's all sealed up, so we should be okay from that standpoint, shouldn't make a giant mess. So we're going to pour oil in, and we're going to pump it through. We'll fill it to the brim with oil. And then we'll use a 27 mil socket to turn the engine clockwise in order to get the gears of the oil pump to suck that oil down. We'll probably put more in than we need, but better more than not enough. Now, we're probably good at this point, but... This piece here is going to go on. This is the oil pan, the top section. It will go on, roughly speaking, like that. I've already cleaned the old sealant off, and then we need to make sure there's no oil on it, like there is right here, so that the Loctite will seal well. In WIS, the uh, sealant diagram, it's a little, uh, little hard to find. So they have several different ones. You just gotta find the one that matches what you have. So um, the engine codes are listed on them, but according to WIS and and the VIN, I've got uh, the uh, 642.820. That one's not in their list. But this picture, nip, 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 that looks about right. So we're just going to go ahead and work with that, and we should be in good shape. The real key here is, you know, we're going inbound, right, uh, on these, and we're kind of coming out here and back in and, and so on and so forth, right? So... Uh, we just want to make sure that we're following that trail all the way through. Um, 
As I watched this video myself, I got a little panicked because I'm on the outside of those bolt holes there. That is actually correct. For this pan, you go to the inside of the bolt holes along the sides, but at the end, you go to the outside of the bolt holes. And the reason for that is because. It's best I got. But there you go. This is actually correct. Okay. At this stage, we need to make sure this goes on straight and flat. You don't want to put it on and move it around because that will disturb that bead of sealant. So be very cautious as you drop that down, straight down onto the block. So we have different sizes. So M6, a couple M8s, uh, and then different lengths, 30 millimeter, 55, 60, 40, and 25 millimeters. So we got to figure all those out now. When I did these, Theoretically, so this is the number three bolt, and uh, I marked these on the bag as to what number they were there. So hopefully this should come out pretty easily. So now we're just going to put these bolts in. Hey, yeah, so this is an exciting part of the video. You get to watch me put bolts in bolt holes. Um, yeah, so I'm just driving them in with the little T-handle there just to get them flush, but uh, certainly not tightening anything yet until I get the torque wrench. All right. And yet more excitingness, uh, just using the torque wrench to knock them in. I don't believe there's any uh, particular sequence that uh, WIS calls for on this, so just uh, get them all tightened to the proper torque depending on the size of the bolt. oil pickup tube. I've replaced that seal. This is going to go on here and we get 14 newton meters. Newton meters, or what do we say, 124 inch pounds, give or take. There we are. Next thing to be put on the oil level check switch. So that goes right in here. This is going to push through there. That's the electrical connection for it. And it's going to push right through there. Like so. That will sit on there. And then we'll bolt that down. Alright, so again, we have the ceiling path to follow. And roughly speaking, that ceiling path is to the inside of all the bolt holes. Obviously, this has all been cleaned up, all the old sealant removed. Okay, friends, you see I'm struggling with this. Uh, the tube's almost empty, and that really caused me to not get enough sealant on the back side of the oil pan, which meant that later on, after the whole thing was installed, I had to pull this oil pan off again um, because it was leaking. Use a more full tube of sealant. You will thank yourself later. Um, you might throw some away, but if you have plenty of sealant, you don't have to worry about trying to conserve it or running out or getting thin. Bring it straight down. Like so. There it is. All right, and now these go to 14 newton meters or 124 inch pounds, plus or minus. 
And just like that, the oil pan is on for the first time. We've got to still get the swirl motor on, the alternator, the flex plate, um, and then we're ready to turn the car around and get the engine dropped into it. And that part's coming up soon, so stick around.